Hey, hey guys, and welcome to Daily Commitment, where we do a little bit of exercise every day, then we increase that exercise very slowly. It's about 10 o'clock at night. I wish I'd done my exercises a little earlier, but again, I was working. It's kind of a weird period. I went in early and I didn't go off till 8 something, so I'm fine with 10. Um, I'm also getting a little more soreness back here than usual, so I think I did, I think I did pretty good isolating those muscles yesterday, but we're not going to push too hard in the horizontal push-ups, horizontal pull-ups, which is going to be your first exercise. Man, I'm a little out of it today, but good to see you guys. Here we go. Let's see if this works. We're going to um, <clears throat> focus on getting this form here. We lock our shoulders back there. So we start by this, right? You're going to pull like this. That locks the shoulders. So shoulders are locked. Then we're going to lock the rest of our body. Then we're going to pull. Oh, yeah. We're going to pull again. Oof. And then one more. Uh, what happened is first one didn't cheat at all almost made it really close second one cheated just a little bit barely touched it third one cheated a little bit more I might my, my I'll tell you the reason I had that soreness is my arms are kind of burnt out this back area um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another uh, another three maybe and not do six or not do ten I mean I've been doing three three and three or three three and four. But like I said, I had a lot of soreness today, which isn't usual in the arm area. So I don't know why. I don't feel like I went crazy yesterday on the horizontal pull-ups. But anyway, I'm talking. Just we're going to use up some time between sets here. We're going to let these guys rest. We're going to do it one more time. Same thing. I'll cheat a little bit with my right foot on just one side to make sure I get all the way up and get that very end of the rep and touch the chest there. These next three. Okay, again, we're going to start by tightening our arms. Or not arms, shoulders. Then the rest of our body. We're gonna pull one, two, three. All right. I think we're just gonna stop our stop those right there. Uh, like I said, I was feeling a little extra soreness. Six is gonna be fine today, and uh, we're just gonna jump straight to the push-ups. Um, yesterday we did a little bit less on the push-ups, uh, so let's see if we do a little better today than we did yesterday. I'm just sparkling with conversation today. I don't know, man. Yesterday I was talking, talking about the whole theory of daily commitment and everything. This time I'm just happy to be finishing my exercises and getting done for the day. Hopefully tomorrow we'll start a little earlier. I have the day off, so I should be able to get one done outside. And I'm hoping to do a good uh, pull-up outside on the tree. So that'll be exciting. That's why I didn't want to really push the horizontal pull-ups too much today. I did a little less than usual. I want to have a good one out in the tree uh, tomorrow. And like I said, I was feeling the soreness, like across the tightness across my back there. Anyway, let's go right down here to the shoulders. Let's go back a couple inches. All right, let's tighten legs, tighten butt, tighten chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, uh, nine. Yeah, I'm getting that same soreness. A lot of extra soreness in my arms. That same soreness I was feeling. Um, with uh, doing the horizontal push-ups or pull-ups. So it, it took a second to kick in, then I felt that extra soreness. So it does have to do with my arms. So we're not going to push it. We're not even quite pushing a ten there. Uh, we'll just wait a little bit, and we'll do another one. Again, I'm not stopping the <clears throat> not stopping the video. Give you guys a little longer how long. Give you guys a little better idea how long I'm waiting between exercises. Also, just kind of give me a second to think and uh, talk about some important things. Like obviously, yesterday something happened very specifically. I only did 20 squats. Usually I do 28, but I had this weird soreness in my leg. Today, usually I'm doing nine, 10 horizontal pull-ups. Kind of had some weird soreness in my arms, or at least my back, right back here. So I just did six today. It was like, you know, I'm not performing it as well as those. Like my first set, I wasn't even getting a single touch without cheating a little bit. I wasn't performing as well on that exercise as normal either. So it's like, all right, we should have a little light day on that one. So now push-ups. We're going to see how we do in a second here, whether we get another nine or eight or whether we get seven, which I think yesterday we did nine and seven which is a one or two less than we usually do. We usually do more like 10 and nine, but anyway, um, yeah, very interesting stuff here. 
uh, when you have a, a, you know, a couple low days like this. So we'll see. Let's do another set of push-ups, see if we can't get at least seven like yesterday, or if we'll maybe hit eight or nine. And then we're going to do the squats, and hopefully we're not going to feel that soreness in our right quad there. And we'll go ahead and do a full 28 of those, or, you know, we'll just see, though. Like I said, I'm not, if I feel any kind of weird pain, like I felt a little extra weird pain in the horizontal pull-ups, I'll just do a few less that day and make sure my muscles are all, all the way recovered. So, anyway, guys, I don't know why. Normally, I'm not having this many in a row that are, you know, a little sore like this, but we'll just see. So, I'm going to be right here under the shoulders. We're going to go back a couple inches. We're going to tighten legs, tighten butt, tighten chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so better than yesterday. Did nine and eight instead of nine and seven. I'd like, I'd like to have 10 and I'd like to have a couple more, but a lot of, I think, good soreness in the arm. I think if I kept pushing, it might have injured something. So we'll be a little safe. We'll stop that early. And uh, let's get going on these squats, guys. So basically, yes, I haven't, I, I haven't done such a few squats for a few times. Like I said, squats are the biggest exercise. They, they bigger muscles, and you're not wearing them out quite as much doing these exercises. So... Uh, you know, I had been doing 28 with the 30 pound vest, but yesterday I only did 20. So we're going to see, I'm not going to push myself if I'm having a lot of problems. I'll quit early. But in my mind, this is like my chance here. In my mind, this is like my chance here to redeem myself. Not really redeem myself, but get back to the regular amount I'm doing, right? Which is 28 instead of 20 like yesterday. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see, though. Let's toss on our weight vest. I think I probably should have done a, a jump for that, because it does seem like I'm using a lot of time to pick up the weight vest. But I don't know. I just wanted the videos to have less cuts in them for a little bit and see how I like that feel better. See if it had a better vibe. I was looking for a more relaxed vibe where I kind of thought about more things to say about the exercises or say about my progress or my philosophy and less of a vibe of, hey guys, quick, let's do some exercises and get out of here. Because I think you guys seeing stuff that I have trouble with or seeing how I kind of modify my routine if I'm having some extra soreness or having a problem, that's probably more valuable than just me having everything go right every single exercise. Because you can see, okay, well, here's how he deals with this problem or when he gets late for exercise, or when he has, you know, this pain in his quad, how he's doing that with his squats. So, let's see how it goes, guys. Let's see how this one goes. All right, so we're going to start by getting ourselves in this position here, which we got our legs spread a little bit, right? We got, not, but not too much, right? Maybe about right there. All right, now we want our back to be straight. We want our shoulders engaged. We're going to put in this bar here to make sure that our shoulders stay straight and don't hunch forward. And now let's do a squat. One. See how it feels. Kind of get it down. Two. Doesn't it feel a little tight, tight here? Three. Four. Five. I'm feeling my right leg real careful to make sure that quad feels good. Six. Seven. Eight. All right. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Ooh. The show's getting hot quick here. All right, here we go. Thirteen. Twenty-one. 
for two. Definitely getting hot and tired, but we're gonna make it through here. 25. 26. 27. And finally, here you go guys, all the way down. Number 28. There we go, 20. So we recovered from that strain that we had yesterday. No problems. No lingering, effect, no lingering effects on that. So that's really good. So hopefully the same thing will happen with our arms tomorrow. We'll do some pull-ups outside. Get one or two of those, see how we do with the full pull-up, right, rather than just the horizontal pull-ups like we've been doing. It's gonna be pretty exciting, guys, so check out tomorrow. Uh, uh, remember, a little bit every day adds up to a lot. Make it a habit, make it easy. Subscribe if you made it this far. Here's a button right here. Ooh, button. And then hit the bell button down there to get positive message in your inbox every day. You guys have a good one. We'll see you next time on Daily Commitment.